Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Sunday, May 5th. Today on Forbes, this startup's AI designs enzymes that can eat plastic waste. In a lab tucked away in an old gun factory in New Haven, Connecticut, a machine heated plastic waste to 536 degrees Fahrenheit and spat out gloopy strings of material that start to harden when they hit the air. This substance, made of textiles and post-industrial scrap that were destined for a landfill, will be ground to bits to create as much surface area as possible. Why? Well, it's about to become food for an enzyme designed with the help of artificial intelligence, made by the startup Protein Evolution. The company's ambition is to use AI to engineer new enzymes that are able to break down plastics and plastic-based textiles. Chief Technology Officer Jay Konechka who stood with a white lab coat next to a reactor filled with enzymes and water, joked, quote, What happens next is we feed it to the sharks. The enzymes and water in the reactor will break the plastics down to their core components. The resulting material, what the company calls BioPure, is supposed to be indistinguishable from polyester made from petroleum and can be used the same way in fabrics. Protein Evolution hopes its enzyme process will allow old clothes, sheets, and other textiles to become fully recyclable. The world has a serious plastics problem, with some 460 million tons total produced annually, a number that will only rise as we buy more stuff. Only 9% of plastic is actually recycled, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. The rest ends up in landfills or incinerated, And that's what Protein Evolution co-founder Jonathan Rothberg said he wants to target. He said, quote, You have to recycle the 91% that people don't recycle. All this crap, all this mixed stuff, not the perfectly clean water bottles that have been rinsed. Rothberg is a serial inventor and entrepreneur who's best known for inventing and commercializing high-speed DNA sequencing. The 91% Rothberg is talking about is where scientists see potential for what's known as biological recycling, using enzymes that break down plastic quickly without creating microplastics or degrading the material in the process. But the number of possible plastic-eating enzymes is greater than the atoms in the known universe, which has made it difficult for researchers to make much headway. Enter artificial intelligence. Konechka said, quote, In the last five years, the world of enzyme engineering has blown open because of AI. Protein Evolution's proprietary AI model incorporates publicly available data on tens of thousands of proteins that help it spew out thousands of amino acid sequences that represent new enzymes. Protein Evolution then uses algorithms, including the AlphaFold AI system developed by Google DeepMind, that predicts a protein's structure from its amino acid sequence, and tests the ones that look most promising in the lab's reactors. Konechka said that when Protein Evolution started, 99% of the new enzymes the AI model suggested were, quote, garbage. But as the team incorporated new information about what was working and what wasn't, over time the AI model learned to design better plastic-devouring enzymes. Konechka figures that he can continue to tweak the design so they'll work faster or at slightly lower temperatures, making the entire process more efficient and cheaper. Protein Evolution's co-founder, Connor Lin, who runs the business, said, quote, We've been focused on cost from day one. Armed with $25 million in venture funding and plans to raise at least that much more this year, the three-year-old startup is gearing up to build a pilot plant that could produce 300 tons a year of recycled plastic in 2025. After that, it hopes to build a commercial plant with capacity of 50,000 tons a year in 2028. The company is still in its early days, and scaling up comes with risk. Today, Protein Evolution brings in only a small amount of revenue from development deals with a handful of consumer brands, including British designer Stella McCartney. To get to commercial scale, Protein Evolution will need to build out its 50,000-ton plant, insert itself into the plastic waste disposable supply chain to get or buy enough material to recycle, and keep its costs low enough that brands will be willing to buy its polyester. For full coverage, check out Amy Feldman's piece, on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.